Man, I can smell rain for the first time in quite a while, and it's coming, so I better get this done quick. Earlier this season, I was minding my own business doing some crappie fishing. I was out here on this lake a few days ago and had a certain amount of success with crappie. Oh boy. <laughs> terrible cast so we are out here again to try to hone in on them a little bit let's uh, see how this goes there's one right out of the gate I kind of figured this was going to work. Nice. There we go. All right. Good start. I got to get myself out of here. Back this up a little bit. Do it again. Now, this was the first sight of the guy that was going to spend the next 10 minutes pretty much crowding me into that little cove. What are you doing? Jesus Christ, that is extraordinarily rude. What are you doing, man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking take a walk, man. Fucking rude as fuck. Here, let me just crowd this guy into this corner real quick. Would you like this spot? Well then what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. I don't take any shit from assholes. Hey, we've got rain. I think it's the first time in a month. So after that interaction, uh, that kind of chased him away a little bit. So I got back to fishing and did a little bit of this. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
and a little bit of this. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. So I was only out there for about an hour and a half, two hours that day. I take the kayak back to the put-in. I'm starting to uh, collect stuff and put it in the Jeep. And a natural resources police officer comes pulling up. Asked for my fishing license, asked for my daily permit for that water. Had it all for him there. And then we just proceeded to shoot the shit for a while. Lo and behold, my new friend comes trolling up to the ramp. And I quietly said to the DNR officer, uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that that guy is poaching. You might want to check his cooler. Well, he did. Now, as I said earlier in the video, you have a 15 fish per day limit on crappie and 30 possession. So if you're camping or whatnot, you know, you catch 15, eat a few, catch another 15, 25, you can catch five the next day. As long as you have no more than 30 in your possession, you're good. Our new friend had 41. Now, let's take a look at the fine schedule for the statute. As you can see here, if you have one to three fish over the limit, you can settle that out of court with a $100 fine. Four to six fish, 250. Seven to 10 fish, 400. If you have 11 fish or more over the limit, there is no pre-settlement fine. You have to appear in court and you are most likely going to get the full $1,000 fine that anybody else is subject to, even if you're one over. The difference is, is that if you're 11 fish over, you have to go to court. If it's one to 10, you can just pay the fine and be done with it. Your fishing license might be at risk in those situations because I'm sure the courts send something to DNR and they'll make a decision from there. If it's your first offense, they're probably not gonna do anything. But in this case, he must appear and he will probably get the full thousand dollar pop. If it's his second offense, $2,000 pop and up to a year in jail. So for his sake, I hope it was his first offense, but I'm also glad that I got a douchebag off the water for at least a little while. And let this be a lesson to all of us. Don't poach fish. Thanks for watching folks. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna go get wet.